one. All right, Thomas, we're live on the first podcast. Oh, how good. What are we talking about tonight? Just tech stuff, tech stuff in general. Random stuff, okay. I, yeah, you know, anything to do with tech, just a tech cast. Yeah. Um, you, know, oh, so, you know what? I, oh. Yeah, you go, you go. You know what, Nash? What? I reckon, wait, what do you want to be when you're older? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I reckon you'd make a really good visuals producer. You reckon? I reckon. Like, how reckon. How do you mean? Like, to what extent? Well, like, obviously start off with, like, operating stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, uh, a lot of people, like in industry, a lot of people, uh, like, create the whole development side of it, like, program the whole thing. Yeah. But I reckon, I reckon that's your, your pathway, like in like event management like like doing the visuals you think i can handle all that i mean like you've seen me just like you said earlier baby steps nash baby steps you've seen like honestly you and hamish and even miss like miss sodi hasn't seen me at full stress but she's seen me at like pretty peak stress but like you and hamish have seen me full stress flat out like on the phone to you, on the phone to Hamish, you know, like, what the F is going on? And, like, I, like, even, I can't remember what it was, but there was an event or an assembly or something, and the PowerPoint, I think it was something to do with Deb, and she had created the PowerPoint, and it was on, like, PowerPoint version, you know, like, 2018, and we were using 2012 or whatever on the video PC, and the PowerPoint looked scuffed. And well, the, with the devi- define scuffed. Like, colors were wrong. The text font was wrong. Images that were supposed to be centered or like in the bottom corner were just all over the place. It was really scuffed. Oh. And essentially, I had eight minutes or whatever it was to fix it. And this was like a 40 something slide powerpoint yeah and the stuff that needed fixing and the amount of slides that were just going through like that it's not something that you know you can just you know like start the slideshow fix up the next slide flick to it flick fix up the next slide fix like you know go to it something that you had to take time and fix and i just didn't have the time and I just was stressed and stressed and stressed to the point where I almost broke down in the sound room. <laughs> I just... Mm. Does anything else interest, uh, interest you in, like, the event aspect besides visuals? I, I don't mind doing the sound. I find that I'm a lot better with visuals and stuff. Like, even just with TVs, computer monitors, all that side of stuff, I'm a lot better with that than I am with the audio and the light side of stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm very I'm very good with interfaces. I'm very good with user interfaces. I'm very good with, you know, like, yeah. configuring BIOS. I'm very good at all that kind of stuff. Mm. But, you know, all the little faders and knobs and switches on the sound desk and stuff, sometimes it makes me overwhelmed. Like when we have Nathan there and he's like, oh, you can use this to adjust the volume and then the fader is kind of just to like slightly increase or decrease it. Like that just hurts my head. That's why I'm, that's, oh, you know, like when he, when he goes into real depth about it, that's when it starts like hurting my brain. Yeah, it's like (laughs) Nathan. Anyway, but that's why I enjoy doing the visuals because I know I understand it all. I know I can walk in, boot up the PC, click on PowerPoint, and I know everything I need is at my fingertips. Yeah. Anyway, Tom, on to the next point of business. Let's talk about the new iMac. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. The Hang on. Just, just for... Um, yeah, the colourful one. Just for everyone's point of view, I'm going to get up the 2021 iMac. Is this a, a video podcast or just an audio only? No, this is a video. Oh, video. So, as we can see on my screen at the moment, the 2021 iMac, it's, I think... Okay. I hate it. I hate it. Can we I actually... I hate it. 
before we go into all this, I'm just going to go back to <laughs> Thomas. Can we talk about the new generation of the iPad that's coming out? I don't know if you... Have you seen the release? No, I haven't, actually. Okay, so I essentially... I watched a brief overview of it, and the new 2021 iPad is astounding. So instead of just having a regular USB-C charging port, it's got a Thunderbolt 3.1 USB-C port, which means compatibility for hooking up graphics cards, external Mm. monitors, and just like mini computers in general. And with Apple's new M1 chip that they're putting in the iPad that's also in the MacBook, it's essentially going to be a MacBook in an iPad shell. I think that's a real good step in the right direction especially if they can get the peripheral control right when you've got that thunderbolt port hooked up i think that's a really good step they're really they're really combining the the macbook with the iphone Mm. and what i kind of like a multi-purpose device yeah and what I think is a step in, like, so I think the iPad is a very forward, very far step ahead. I think it's a great idea. What I think is kind of a step to the side a bit is the new design of the 2021 iMac. So as we can see here, it's the same sort of size as the iMac now. It's still got the bar down the bottom, but it's got you know, speakers for that, so there's a reason for it. Yeah. And it's a lot thinner, but it's got that iPad, like, feel. Like, it's got... Here, let me get up a photo. Like, design here. We can see just from the back, like, if I just did that, that just looks like different colored iPads. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell that that's an iMac without reading. And I think that the design, I think that making it slimmer is a great idea. I think making it colourful is, you know, it's whatever, it's Apple. I think that that's going to actually get a lot more young attention, like college students and stuff that just need a home PC and they want a colourful one. Yeah. I think that, you know, putting the uh, MacBook chip in the iPad and Thunderbolt in the iPad is a great step forward. I think giving that iPad design look to the iMac is a step to the side. Yeah. yeah. And I, th- I think that overall, I think the sales will be perfectly fine. I think the new um, brick that it comes with, it's kind of essentially a MagSafe power brick. So it doesn't, you know, like... When you pull it out of your thing, it doesn't rip it off. And the fact that you have gigabit Ethernet right on the like charger itself, so you, don't, you only have one cable going into your iMac for power and Ethernet, mm-hmm. I think that's a great step ahead. But I just think that the, the design... Yeah. I think the design, because just... they've got the same M1 chip in the iMac. So essentially what people are paying for is a gigantic iPad. If they yeah. release the 2021 iMac and the 2021 iPad at the same time, what do you think people are going to go for? Something that's two and a half grand that they have to have on a desk with a keyboard and stuff attached to it at all times, or essentially an iMac in an iPad shell that you can take peripherals with you and hook it up to anything, anywhere that costs, you know, even like $1,500. What do you think people are going to go for? I reckon they'll go for the iPad. Oh, 100% they will. And with Apple's new M1 chip, the iPad is just going to be phenomenal. And even the new iP- the 2021 iPads are going to offer up to 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Yeah, I saw that. It's a great step in the forward direction. I think the iMac colors will be okay. I think it'll draw in a lot more consumers. I think the grill at the bottom is still a bit too thick. I understand they have to do that for, you know, like speakers and wiring and stuff i just i I don't like how they remove the logo from the front Mm. yeah it just it looks a little flat the 
but it does the, the, come the with bezels on the side. The is it, are they white or silver? I'm not. I'm not. I don't have um, the photo. It depends but I mean, on the color you get. If you get if you get the silver one, like the standard. If you Apple get color. the standard silver one, the bezels are white. Yeah. See, I reckon that that dates the device. Mm. I really do. But see, if you get they all the bezels are white. So if you get a purple iMac, your bezels around the screen are still white. You'll have the purple bar at the bottom for the speakers, but the bezel around the screen itself will still be white. It, it really dates it. Honestly, Thomas, can I give my personal like opinion, Bill? Yeah, sure. Let me go to the Apple website. Tom, I'm even going to screen share for you so you can have a look. Right, you ready? Sure. All right. Let me know when you can see my web browser. I can see it now. All right. Here's what I think you should do. I think people should go here. I think people should buy the new iPad Pro. And then what I also think is, I think that's what it's called. I think people should buy... Pro display, that's what it's called. Oh. Because let, let's... Let, let, let's go through this. Okay, let's say you get 11-inch space grey. Let's say, you know, you want mid-tier range, you know, you're, you're going to be using it for schoolwork and stuff like that, and essentially PC use. Let's say, you know, yeah. you just want 256 gigs. Um. Yeah. You want your cell? Do you, you want, want the cellular? Uh, do you? Uh, I figured no, because you have your phone with you, maybe. So you can just stick to Wi-Fi and you can hotspot. You don't need engraving, and then you don't need the pencil or the keyboard because you can use the new Thunderbolt port. So that's thirteen fifty, right? Yeah. Here. Let's go there, and then we want the new iMac here. So let's get one of these as well. Okay, so already our custom built iPad is thirteen fifty. The base model for the iMac is nineteen hundred, but that's not what I want to say yet. Okay, so standard glass, no pro stand, no vase amount, eighty five hundred bucks, right? Yeah. That but that this display is absolutely mate. Have you seen this display? Uh no. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, let's just say, you know, you want your mid-tier range. You know, let's say you want the new purple. You want your mid-tier range iMac. Yeah. Essentially what you're getting is 8 gig RAM, 256 gig of storage, two Thunderbolt ports, two USB 3 ports, gigabit Ethernet, a mouse and keyboard. Can I just point something out with that Ethernet? Uh-huh. I really don't like how the Ethernet port is... On the charging brick? Yeah. I think it's actually a good idea because all, essentially then, all it is is just a single plug into there. There's no yucky blue or yellow or black, or even if you've got a purple thick Ethernet cable in the back it's just one circular cable i mean it's good for like visual presence like presentation but mm. like you, you're mostly gonna have it at the computer at a wall anyway yeah okay so what's that what's our total cost i can't see buying our total cost is what's that say tom about two thousand two hundred dollars right yeah okay so Let's just forget about the Pro Display because that's way more than I thought it was. So we've got $2,200 to work with. Okay, so let's still stay with the 11-inch space gray. Yeah, that's fine. But you know what? Let's let's go for the 512 gig. No engraving. You know, let's say that, you know, we might not always have our phone on us. So let's get cellular as well. With 512 gigs of storage, which is more than this... And yeah. Wi-Fi and cellular, and with USB 3.0 Thunderbolt, 
the idea of having gigabit ethernet for only $1,900. Yeah. And it's got the same M1 chip. It's got the same liquid retina XDR display that that big screen had. It's got the 5G. It's got the pro cameras. It's... It's just, it's... It's no competition for the iMac. Yeah. Like, what, what do you think students are going to choose? Pen and paper in a lecture and then go home and have to retype it all out on the iMac? Or save, well, you, save $200 your, and buy an iMac? Wouldn't you just have your MacBook with you, like, on the lecture and just start typing? You wouldn't take your whole iMac. No, your MacBook. No, what I'm saying is that the iPad is going to kill out the MacBook. Mm. Because essentially what you can do is you just buy a, a dongle. You plug that dongle into the Thunderbolt port. Essentially it gives you maybe two, three USB ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, and maybe an SD card port, and there you go. You got And maybe an HDMI port, and boom, you've got a PC. It's got the same chip as the uh, iMac. I think it's got 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, long-lasting battery life, Wi-Fi and cellular, 5G. If I was going to buy this iPad for going to uni, mm-hmm. I would have to make sure that it had, the, with the, the, the flip case... Um, with the keyboard, the type, the, yeah, the keyboard. Okay, well, let's. Okay, so we've still got two hundred dollars in our budget. Let's go. Um, keyboard let's was show. just above. Oh, was it? Yeah. Ah, where where is it? Up a bit. Add keyboard. Okay, let's add a keyboard. So you want that, yeah? The magic keyboard. Yeah. What, yeah. what color would you get? Would you get black or white? You probably get black because you got the space gray yeah. iPad. Yeah. All right. Or would you want... Oh, okay. Hold on. Which one would you get? Would you is get the, the ma- Magic the, Keyboard or would you get the Smart Keyboard? What's the difference? I don't know. I'd probably go for the Smart. Yeah. Is the, with, the, with the other one, does that allow it to levitate above the keyboard? Yeah. Which I think that'd be a bit, bit strange. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'd go for this. Okay, let's just go add yeah, that. Yeah, go for that. So now our total is twenty one sixty eight. Still twenty, sorry, no, thirty one dollars cheaper than an iMac, and we've got more storage. We've got, you know, a, like a, the same display, the same CPU chip for thirty one dollars cheaper. Yeah. You know, let's not say that you've got an iPad already and you can trade in or blah blah blah, but I'm just I think that it's gonna kill out the iMac. Yeah, for but sure. Don't, don't get me wrong, family use and maybe even, you know, roommates that want to go halves or quarters or whatever and getting an iMac maybe. But I think for people on the go who are looking for something that's, you know, not as hefty as an iMac but you know they kind of want something sleek that they can just hide away in like a handbag or something that they I don't want that's to have to carry around a laptop I reckon that's why they introduce colours mm. on the iMac because they know that the iPad it, is going to kill it out yeah yeah so and they're running they're running out of ideas mm. well this is the first refresh the iMac's had for what eight nine years seven years Oh, the, yeah, so the new design came out in 2012. Mm, so it's so, nine years. Yeah. And the uh, the new iPad came out last year. So, so yeah. the iPad is still evolving. It's still innovative. It's got so much potential left, especially when they can put desktop Apple chips inside of an iPad. So what was your idea with having the iPad for the sound room? Which one were you looking at? 
Um, so let's just say we go to uh, Gamma Tree and we want 15 inch iPad Pro. See if anything comes up. Um, iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Is that was that it? Is that the big one? Maybe it was 13 inches, and I'm remembering it wrong. That doesn't look big enough. I reckon I don't think the school buys second hand. Hmm. We'll see, let's just say, then, if we go back... Uh, I reckon if we were to ask for one from the student council, they'd only, if they were going to say yes, they'd only say yes to the cheapest one. Okay, well, let's just say... It's just standard iPad. Okay, well, let's just say we just get an iPad, all right? Let's say we go... How do I scroll down oh. to buy one? Oh, there, buy. So... Yeah. Right, let's just say we get a space grey one. We need the storage for music. We'd only need Wi-Fi. No engraving. That's still... Isn't engraving free? Um, I don't know. Hang on. I can't go back through it. It's, it's, it's I, free on the iPod Touch. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's $650 for essentially what's kind of... Almost a base model. What iPad. other store? What other storage of our, um, options are there? That's it. Oh, let's. What about? Th oh, thirty-two. That that'd still be fine, wouldn't it? Oh, I, yeah. Okay. Oh, engraving free. Sound room all in caps. Like that. With the space in between the D and the R. There we go. Right. Right. Cool. It's like a button to click save. There is. Right. All right. So we've dropped the price down to five hundred bucks. Okay. But that doesn't come with you know the keyboard or anything. That comes doesn't come with anything. That's only got the Apple A12 chip in it. And you just get the iPad, charge cable, and the brick. Now. If we go the iPad Pro, we go the absolute cheapest we can. That's twelve hundred dollars. I don't think now that's that's a hefty price. Now what about an iPad Air? Because the Air is kind of the middleman. So, you know, we want a space grey. 64 gigs would be fine, Wi-Fi would be fine, engraving's fine. $900 and compatible with an Apple Pencil. This isn't compatible with an Apple Pencil. Oh wait, yes it is. So why, you, why can't you get an Apple Pencil with this? Or can you? I'm just blind. No, because you can't order an Apple Pencil with this, but you can here. Mm. Let's see, $900... And you get liquid retina display. You get the A14 Bionic chip. You get the Touch ID integrated into the top button. And it's compatible with the Magic and Smart keyboards. I really like how it comes. It still comes with the power adapter. Yeah, because the new phones don't. Um... Oh, what was I looking for? I feel like if the student council declines it, they're tight. Um, and our next option is to ask Kempen. Mm. I... And to get a media iPad. Mm. Well... What if we went on the other end of the spectrum? Ooh. Hear me out, hear me out.
think about how much better it is to use with Windows rather than Apple. Two, practically two grand for the base model. Or is that the S S seven plus? Yeah, that's the S seven plus. We don't need that. Okay, let's just go. What's the cheapest one they got? S six Lite Wi Fi sixty four gigs. Have a look. Seven thousand forty milliamp hour battery. And it comes with an S pen. So. Where's the thing itself? I'm just really not a fan of Android uh, um, operating system. Why? I don't know. Have you seen the... It's It just doesn't seem like advanced enough for my needs. Have you seen the new Android 12 launch? No. It's... Apple's going to be kicked in the teeth. Because I don't think they were expecting it. you got to show us now. Ah, okay. Even if I just go... Android 12... Even if I just show you, like, images, like that, that's essentially, like, the new face. That's the new skins. It's so customizable that you can literally turn it into, like, the iOS widgets if you need to. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm still not a fan I don't know why. Hmm. Well, let's let's have a look. Let's see my phone. Come, let's talk about my phone. I'm actually gonna go to bed. Oh, you're gonna leave me here to do the podcast all by myself? That's not how a podcast works. Yeah, it's a solo. Oh. All right, hang on. So essentially. Mine's the Note 10, but it's black. It's not the Oro Blow. One thing that I am a bit flussed over is that the new, like, the Note 10 Plus has 5G capabilities, whereas the Note 10 doesn't. Oh, it's got a weird, like, a weird edge. What do you mean? It's got an infinity display. I don't like the... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like... The the little slim bits on the end. There or there. Uh, yeah, that. Not the not the not that. The curved screen is fine, but I don't like the that little silver bar. Hmm. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. It looks. It looked to me. It looks like a um, portable charger. Really. Mhm. Let's have a look at this. So my phone screen size is 5.5 inches, right? Yeah. That's just the screen size. That doesn't include the black bars and everything. The Note 10 is 6.3. That's 0.8 in. That's almost a whole inch bigger than my phone. And this is full screen. And it's a lot thinner than my phone. It's got a massive battery. See, built-in 5G, I think it's only on the Plus models. Let's have a look. Samsung, you can tell I've done a lot of bloody digging on the Note 10. <laughs> yeah. 5G. Oh, 5G in India. Note 10, 5G, Oz. Oh. 
I'll have to ask my guy about that if the one I'm getting has 5G in it, because if it does, it'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, so mine doesn't have the micro SD slot, because mine's only the, like, the Note, not the Note Plus. It's got 256 gigs, which is double what I've got now. I see they copied Apple with the SIM card trick. What do you mean? The you, you got to push the pin in for it to eject. Yeah. So here we go. It says 30 minutes charge gives you long lasting power. So if we click that. Um, oh, I can't really. I just wanted to tell me how much power anyway. But yeah, like the camera on these are amazing. And like even here, like the super steady. Like that's running. And that's pretty smooth. To me, it looks like it's glitching. Oh, really? This is another thing I'm super pumped for. So you've just got the normal photo lens, you've got the telephoto, and then you've got the ultra wide. Hey. I'm so pumped. And I this, oh, I'm so pumped for this. Because the Note 10 was the first integration with gestures for the S Pen. So I honestly cannot wait. Honestly. I'm pumped. Can you think of a way to convince Zodes to... Sell the phone? Um, maybe. Like, if she put it online, and then, you know, you, like, bought it off her from online. Happen to, happen to bump in. Or, you know, like, her partner sells it or something. But yeah, that's another thing I'm really hyped for too, is Samsung DeX. You're becoming See, like Hamish now. That, that's what I was talking about, with the Windows Your Phone thing. Yeah. The integration, it's just, oh. Oh, and see, yeah, it's I, got, it's I, got I the Dolby it's Atmos. Because, I think it's because... Yeah, you've been using Windows for ages, and mm. I've been using uh, Catalina for ages. That yeah, it it, it depends. It, I don't know. It just seems that whatever laptop you have is mm. like kind of what determines your phone as well. Yeah. Because, like, if you had this really expensive MacBook and, like, there's all these features that work with well with the iPhone, mm, like, you're you wouldn't, gonna be drawn you wouldn't to want a MacBook. Yeah, you wouldn't want to buy a Samsung phone because it wouldn't be compatible and, like, you've pretty much just wasted your money. Mm. But if you had a Windows, then you know the features for the Samsung phones, so they kind of go together. Yeah. I think, honestly, because this is going to be my first new phone in four years, I think I'm just super pumped. Like, everyone gets that feeling, especially, like, you and me, like, us tech nerds. Whenever we get our hands on, like, a new device with ours, we're just really, really pumped. Yeah, I, yeah. I cannot wait. Like... I want to have a look at, like, the express shipping rate, so if it gets shipped on Wednesday, how long it'll take to get here. Yeah. Because if it's going to get here before the weekend, I'm going to be so happy. <sighs> I think I might head to bed. Yeah, I reckon it's about time for the podcast to end. We'll have to have All another right. one tomorrow night. We'll see. We'll see how we go. What do you reckon? We'll start earlier so we've got more time. No, tomorrow I'll be working. 
Oh, time to finish. It is a four fifteen to nine forty five shift. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, so it cuts you off there. Damn, I'm working Saturday four to seven, so maybe after that, I'll be at Napa from two p.m. till seven thirty. Okay, well maybe, yeah, well, I'll be at work from four to seven so yeah maybe after that saturday maybe we'll see how we go oh yeah sunday you working sunday tom i sure am i will be at subway at eight till three okay i will be at work from three to six thirty <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll see how we go we'll, we'll aim for saturday yeah we'll see how we go right eye thomas Right, Nash. I'll um. Oh, pay. actually, um, are you helping with the tech check on Monday? Um, most likely, yeah. You are. Most likely, yeah. From period one to four. What have I got? Legal studies in English. Maybe. Only, only because I missed out on English and legal studies today because I had the day off to do my assignments. Yeah. So I don't know. I have a think. I'll talk to Miss Milne that Monday morning and see what I missed out on. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have to. Um... No, I, I, I want to be there. I want to be immersed in all the tech stuff. But yeah, I'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Hey, Miss Milne. See how we go. Right, I'm out. Right, I'm Thomas. I'll let you get to bed before Nan bloody kills me. <laughs> well, I think she already has. Oh, damn. Yeah, she closed her door, which means that normally she's pissed off at me. Thomas is in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Thomas. Well, I'll... I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll probably chat to you over the weekend. Hopefully we'll aim for a podcast on Saturday. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you, Thomas. See ya.